Hello everyone, and welcome to my Bachelorette official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Grand Ellis, the star of Bachelor season 29, has selected the final three ladies he wants to spend the night on a fantasy sweet date. The dates are presently being filmed. Grant, a 30-year-old Newark, New Jersey day trader, first joined Bachelor Nation during Jen Tran's Bachelorette season, but he was devastated when she left him before their hometown dates. Grant, on the other hand, was overjoyed to resume his quest for love in season 29 of The Bachelor. In order for women to join up expressly to date him, the producers even made him the lead early. Reality Steve shared the names of Grant's final three women who would accompany him on overnight fantasy suite dates on Instagram. They are Lisha Gare, 31, Soma Grady, 27, and Juliana Pascorosa, 28. After her hometown date, Dina Lupanku, 31, who was in Grant's final four, was reportedly eliminated. Regarding the fantasy suite dates and the reason behind Grant bidding Dina farewell, Reality Steve provided no information. That Grant has begun shooting his overnight fantasy suite dates with these three women is fantastic to hear. His season appears to be developing according to the conventional path, which may indicate that he is headed for genuine love. Grant frequently mentioned during Jen's bachelorette season how eager he was to fulfill his ambition of being a spouse and father. With any luck, these overnight fantasy suite dates will give him the clarity he needs to make the best choice. Grant's final three ladies might be ideal for him, even though Bachelor Nation hasn't met any of them yet. He is almost the same age as Juliana, Zoe, and Lisha. Although it's preferable to him selecting someone who is significantly younger than him, this doesn't always mean that he's ready for marriage and engagement. Additionally, Grant is originally from the East Coast, especially Newark, New Jersey, even though he currently resides in Houston, Texas. So's hometown date took place in New York, while Juliana's took place in Massachusetts. This could indicate that Grant is looking for a partner that lives nearby his hometown. But since Lisha's hometown date was shot in Wyoming, it's possible that she's willing to move for him or that he's willing to move for the right person. It will be interesting to watch Grant's experience as he moves forward through the remainder of his bachelor season. Although it's quite rare, he might wind up picking no one at all leaving in a relationship with one of Juliana, So, or Alicia, or becoming engaged to one of them. Grant was the ideal candidate for The Bachelor since he is so prepared for the next phase of his life. Whatever happens, maybe Grant will discover what he's seeking for and lead a happy life. Kelsey Anderson, The Bachelor winner, developed a new product for a worthy cause. Since season 28 of The Bachelor, Kelsey and Joey Graziade's lives have been totally turned upside down. After being engaged, they went on to become social media influencers and start making money through sponsored partnerships and sponsorships. Following Joey's credit problems earlier in the year, Kelsey and Joey's financial status seemed to be improving. As a contestant on season 33 of Dancing with the Stars, Joey is currently making even more money. Next year, they will require that money to assist with wedding preparations. In celebration of Breast Cancer Awareness Month, Kelsey announced on Instagram that she had made a bracelet. She shared a picture of the pink and white always bracelet on her Instagram story along with details on the F Cancer event with Kelsey Anderson, which she is attending in New York City on October 23 at 6 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. According to the statement, Kelsey has joined forces with F Cancer and Little Words Project, LDP, to spread awareness and hope. F Cancer will receive half of the proceeds from the sale of tickets in honor of Kelsey's mother, Denise, who passed away from breast cancer. There are now calls for Mark Anderson, Denise's widower, to be the next Golden Bachelor lead. 
He was eliminated in the most recent episode of The Golden Bachelorette, when he was competing for Joan Vesso's heart. The tragic tale of Mark and Denise was initially told on The Bachelor with Joey. Following the tragic deaths of his wife and Kelsey's mother, Denise, Mark made an effort to pursue love once more. Even after her death, she is undoubtedly still very much a part of the Anderson family. Mark's recent participation in The Golden Bachelorette will never alter that. In a wonderful way, Kelsey's most recent endeavor, the bracelet and the F cancer event, will honor her late mother. Kelsey and Joey's appearance on The Bachelor provided them with a huge platform to participate in incredible opportunities, including a means of earning a living. Additionally, they now have the chance to raise awareness of subjects that are important to them, such as breast cancer awareness. In the United States, the condition affects about 300,000 people annually. The Anderson family is really touched by this. The F Cancer event ticket holders in New York are receiving Kelsey's bracelet. This endeavor might be the first step toward Kelsey incorporating philanthropic causes into her future influencer lifestyle. She should hold the event annually and keep raising money and awareness. If it's a success, she might even start selling the bracelet to the general public. In 2025, Kelsey and Joey will concentrate on wedding planning but as her public reputation grows, the Bachelor star may produce more goods and throw more parties in between. Joey Graziette of The Bachelor season 28 has debuted a new appearance, but might it damage his bond with Kelsey Anderson? The romance between Joey and Kelsey is legendary on reality TV. On the first night of the season, Kelsey, 25, got out of the limousine and met Joey, 28. This is how the couple first met. During Charity Lawson's season of The Bachelorette, Joey made his broadcast debut. Although he was heartbroken by the loss, Joey, who finished as her runner-up, would soon be offered another opportunity to find love on national television. The largest cast of any Bachelor Nation show, consisting of 32 women, made Joey's season of The Bachelor season 28 noteworthy. Among the many attractive ladies Joey had at his disposal were 26-year-old Jen Tran, who later became The Bachelorette, and 25-year-old Daisy Kent. Ultimately, Kelsey received Joey's last rose, and the two became engaged. Both Joey and Kelsey have gained notoriety after departing the show. There is some conjecture that Joey's participation in dancing with the stars could cause problems for the young couple. Joey and Kelsey got engaged at the end of season 28 of The Bachelor, and they rode out into the sunset together. Following a difficult financial beginning, Joey and Kelsey put a lot of effort into creating successful social media accounts, which Joey used to land a Dito TS divot. Joey recently surprised fans by presenting a clean-shaven haircut and makeover, which altered his trademark appearance. He could have changed his look because he needed a change, but it might also be an indication that Joey wants to reintroduce himself to the public as a single person rather than as a member of a duo. Not wanting to be left out, Kelsey just chopped off a few inches of her hair. The Bachelor season 28 stars should prioritize fostering their relationship over advancing their professions even if it's obvious that Joey and Kelsey are enjoying their newfound fame. Kelsey is secretly beginning her modeling career while Joey is occupied with her Dita VTS competitions. Since joining the cast of season 28 of The Bachelor, Kelsey has undergone significant adjustment. Kelsey was a junior project manager back then, but today she is a well-known influencer with a sizable social media following and a steadily expanding modeling portfolio. The Bachelor season 28 star shared video of Kelsey's recent participation in a fashion show on Instagram. In the video, she walks the catwalk with her hair cascading over her shoulders while wearing a gorgeous light lilac princess gown. September was a dream, Kelsey wrote in her caption. One of the highlights was definitely walking in the Sherry Hill fashion show. 
Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't miss any updates.